Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year, or almost Happy New Year. Um, it's New Year's Eve, actually, here in my neck of the woods. I'm getting some rice started. I am sick, so um, just kind of laying around in the recliner and uh, just doing things like art projects and reading and in between sleeping, but I'm getting bored, and so I decided to get up and get dinner going. I'm just getting some rice started. I rinsed my rice. I have two cups of water. I'm sorry, two cups of rice and four cups of water. So um, I'm going to cook the rest of it in there. I'm just going to do like some pulled pork. Um, but to start off, I'm going to do the rice first and get that going. I'll empty that out, use the same pot because you know I love using the same pot and then make the rest of the ingredients. We have a couple packs of this um, frozen pulled pork. I'm just gonna chop up some veggies and uh, like onions and peppers and then I'm also gonna throw in some broccoli. I'm not sure if we're gonna like this. We've never used that product before, but I'm sure we'll figure something else out if we don't. My rice is about half done, so I'm gonna start getting my bell peppers and my onion cut up. I cannot believe how good this rice smells. <laughs> so, I mean, I really haven't eaten today because I'm not feeling well. So maybe I'm just that hungry. <laughs> I'm starting to get an appetite. Um, but anyway, that smells good. Bear with me as I cut these. I've been having some issues with inflammation. Um, hands are very swollen and arms, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been wearing an arm brace here and there just for extra support on both arms. And hopefully that gets worked out soon. It has not been fun, and I feel like I am just so clumsy in the kitchen right now. This has got to be the quietest New Year's Eve ever. And I feel like all of the holidays um, at the end of this year are just kind of going that way. Um, I spent Halloween at home by myself <laughs> just because it was so cold and, you know, everybody always has something else to do. But I'm more of a homebody. Um, and I wasn't really feeling well. And then Christmas Eve was kind of the same thing. And then here we are at New Year's. <laughs> Sick again. I don't know. I do like nights like tonight where I get to be in my house and in my kitchen by myself. And it's nice and quiet. And just chop onions and peppers. Those are the kind of things that are therapeutic to me. This rice is done and it turned out perfectly. I'm just going to put it into this bowl that has a lid. Um, mostly because a lot of the people here in our house do not like rice. There's only a couple of us that do. And so even though um, some people won't eat this. I just wanted to make a lot so that I can meal prep it for my lunches when we go back to work. All right, now that I have my rice out, I'm just going to give it a quick rinse. Now I just kind of sort of rinsed out the rice, and I'm not worried about it too much. I mean, it's all getting eaten together. So let me just turn this back on to saute, and I'm just going to cook my peppers and onions on the saute mode before I add my package of pulled pork and we'll just finish it up on slow cook right into the pot with these peppers and onions I'm going to add some minced garlic 
into my measuring cup that I've already been using. Um, I'm just going to add my brown sugar. That's three tablespoons. I'm just doing about a tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. Going to do about a tablespoon of crushed red pepper. About a half cup of soy. I'm also going to add a little bit of cornstarch. And then I'm going to use some water. I just filled it up to the four cup mark. And I'm just stirring all of that brown sugar and all of the other powders in to get them dissolved. I'm just stirring around these veggies and the garlic just to make sure that they're all getting cooked evenly. I really like my onions to be nice and soft and my husband really likes the um, bell peppers to be cooked really soft. He doesn't like any crunch at all to his bell peppers. Now things are going to change up a little bit temperature wise here as I start adding my frozen ingredients like the broccoli and the pulled pork. One frozen chunk of barbecue pulled pork. Next I'm going to pour that sauce right over top. Then I'll just put the lid on and let it finish out these next seven minutes and then I'll turn it over to slow cook. I'm going to be really honest with you right now. I totally forgot that I was cooking this and I left it on um, saute. But this is what it's looking like. Actually looks really good. Smells delicious. Um, my husband and kid were just here and they were ready to eat. But I told them it wasn't ready so I told them a little fib. But I didn't know. So I guess I'm just going to turn this down and keep warm. Because we now don't have to slow cook it or anything. It's done. So I'm just plating up two uh, portions here, one for Bill and one for me. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat, <laughs> so I will just be having rice. But this smells divine. Just get a little more of that good sauce in there. Sorry about the light. It is dark here in Michigan tonight. Anyway, that is dinner for tonight. Super easy. Smells delicious. And here's my We are gonna call this after Christmas soup because we are using all of the little um, little gifts that you might receive from your neighbors or friends and all the little gift baskets. And these are all chicken noodle soup mixes. So I am actually using turkey that I had in my freezer from Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving dinner, I immediately pop that into my freezer because we're just not good at eating our leftovers and I didn't want it to go to waste so I just freezed immediately. I apologize you can hear my washer ringing out in the background. Next I'm just taking some baby carrots and cutting them in half. I just, I don't have to do this but I just wanted my pieces to be a little bit smaller. little ones I'll just throw in. Next I'm going to add some chopped up onions from my stash. And I'm kind of going by the recipe that's on the back of this package which is asking for three and a half cups of water, one ounce of butter, and six ounces of cooked chicken. But I have more than that in my pot here. All right, there goes four cups of water. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do four more cups. 
of course we have to have some garlic so I'm gonna use some minced garlic I'm gonna do about three teaspoons Let's get the lid on, and then once that comes to a boil, we'll start adding our soup mixes. Oh yeah, this smells so good, and I am still sick, and my nose is running, and I have chills. I'm tired, and this is just going to be so comforting and so warming. <laughs> All of these herbs are from my turkey from when I roasted it, and you can see the butter in the air. Um, those carrots are working on getting soft and my turkey I will just come back in here in a little while and just kind of cut it into smaller pieces I've got some pretty good sized slices in there <clears throat> next I'm just going to add the soup pouches just to hold off on some of those mixes while well, the noodles in the one package were kind of like the um, the ramen crumbs that you get in the bottom of the package so I just decided to use my own noodles and add to it since the one had some pretty nice looking egg noodles in it all right that's all I'm doing I'm just gonna put the lid on and let this simmer and we'll have soup in no time I decided to add a little bit of rice into my soup bowl and I'm just going to scoop my soup right on top of that and ladle in a good amount of that broth. Tonight we're just reheating some of our leftover ham from Christmas and we're just going to do a breakfast for dinner. While the ham is heating up on low, I have my oven on to get some tater tots cooking in the oven. And I have an extra large frying pan with some butter. We're going to do some scrambled eggs. Here is breakfast for dinner tonight. Um, it's just been a very rough start to the new year for me. I've just been sick the whole time. So dinners have had to be on the easy side and I don't know anything easier than breakfast for dinner sometimes. Um, just using some tater tots or hash browns, some eggs, and then um, just happened to have some of this ham left over. So that was a good thing made dinner super quick and easy and just yummy and comforting as well. Making a very simple dinner tonight, some vegetable beef soup or some hamburger soup, whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to get my carrots and my onions started because I don't like a hard crunchy carrot. I like them cooked really well. And I'm just cooking those up on the saute mode on my Ninja Foodie Cooker. And 
<clears throat> now I'm just going to add a pound of ground beef. Actually, I'm adding two pounds. Um, and so I've got to get the other one out of the wrapper. And we'll just kind of... I won't be using my hands the whole time. Just move it and scrape it. But um, once I get everything kind of browned up and sauteed, I will drain off the oil and add the remaining ingredients. I found about this much of a bag of hash browns, so guess what? That's going in too. Now I'm just going to add some other ingredients. I decided not to drain it because there really is not that much oil in here or, you know, drippings from that meat. So we're just going to leave it in there. And all I did just now was clean out my jar of garlic. Um, I had about that much or, you know, a little bit in the bottom and on the sides. So I filled it about halfway with water, swished it around to get all those little bits out. I'm adding in a can of mixed vegetables just for a little bit of this and that. Um, I did drain the canned um, the water off of it. Some people don't. I just find them to be pretty starchy and I just don't prefer that myself. But um, in your mixed vegetables, you'll get little bits of pieces of like celery, some peas, carrots, and potatoes. So we are going to have some different textures going on as far as the potatoes and the carrots. I'm adding a small can of sliced mushrooms. Next, I'm adding two cans of um, Rotel. This is the original. All I could find at the store is the um, original or the mild. So I'm hoping that the original is spicier than the mild, but I'm not sure. And that's just two 10 ounce cans. Give that a stir. <clears throat> We're all still sick here, so I want something a little spicier just to kind of get us breathing good again. Now I'm just adding, <laughs> entering, <laughs> a whole box of beef broth. This is how it's looking so far. Next, I'm adding about a tablespoon each of salt and pepper, and I'm just using my handy dandy measuring hand. And then, of course, we're going to add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. We like our food a little bit spicy. And that looks perfect to me. So we're just going to put the lid back on and let it finish simmering for a while. It's time to dish up our bowls of soup. So once again, I am having mine with some rice. Just going to spoon that right on top. Make sure I get some of those mushrooms.
just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And I may have filled my bowl a little too full. And just try to mix it in there. Stir some of that rice in from the bottom. <clears throat> That's it, dinner's ready. Oh yeah, that is so good. Tonight I'm making meatloaf in my stand mixer that I got for Christmas. I just have my three pounds of meat and three eggs. super easy. Now I'm just going to work on getting this paddle cleaned off and getting my meat shaped and in the pan.
And I don't know if I mentioned, but I have two pounds of ground beef and one pound of regular sausage. Okay, all I did was dump the meat into my pan. I'm just using my Ninja Foodi again for this meal. Um, and then I just kind of shaped it. I didn't spray it or anything because what I have found this whole week with using this um, pan is that food does not stick in it. I have some red potatoes that I just washed up and cut into smaller pieces. I'm just going to nestle those all around the sides of this meatloaf. You can always adjust the shape of your meatloaf so that all your potatoes fit in there real nice. I'm also going to add some of those baby carrots in there. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper on everything. I'm going to do a little bit of salt on those potatoes and carrots. And what I really like about this pan is that I can put it right into my oven and finish it off, which I will do because we like our meatloaf to be browned up. But we're going to just get this started on bake. Every time I say that I'm going to finish something up in the oven, I end up not doing it. Um, so I really have very little experience with this uh, cooker and so far everything that I've made I have not needed to put into the oven so that's a good thing. Um, I was going to put this meatloaf in and just crisp up this top but what I've noticed is that there is a nice crispy edge on the bottom of the meatloaf so that's going to work for us. <laughs> And I don't think I need to put it in the oven at all. And <clears throat> my family likes meatloaf with cream of mushroom soup or some kind of a gravy on it. So I'm using just two cans. I'm just going to kind of spread it around here. And here is our last dinner of the week. It is the uh, meatloaf. Like I told you, there is a crispy bottom edge. And those potatoes are nice and browned up the way we like them. And I'm having some pickled beets with mine. Um, I'm just going to close out this video. Now I just want to say thank you to everyone who stuck through this week with me and my sickness. And hopefully... Next week will be better and we'll all be healthy. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. Bye.